Hi guys, my name is Alethea, this is Got You Covered. Today I have to talk about, I'm so sorry, Kim Kardashian's suit because I saw it and it made me laugh and I wanted to talk about this. Okay, so this picture of Kim Kardashian kind of went viral on Twitter and some of the captions were hilarious, but honestly, I kind of felt bad for her. So she's wearing a really oversized suit and it almost just looks like a straight up men's suit, which is fine, except for it really doesn't suit her body type. And I just wanna point out a couple reasons why that's pretty obvious to me. And maybe some of you are seeing it and be like, oh, well, I don't know exactly what's wrong, but I know that it's not quite right. So if you're looking at her suit, you can see it's kind of bunching up in some particular areas that should be a clue for you. So if you're seeing any sort of divots around the shoulders or any sort of creases, especially in the waist and a lot of bulk around the arms, that's a big sign that what you're working with is not an oversized look, but something that's just too big for you. And there's a big difference and it can take an outfit from looking really chic to kind of unprofessional and almost sloppy. When I saw that picture of her in her suit, I immediately thought of this photo that is also like another viral photo that just kind of like, you know, circulates the internet and it just shows how a suit should fit a man. And the well-fitting suit, you know, looks good. You're like, oh yeah, that looks like a suit. And then the ill-fitting suit, you're like, oh no, everything is wrong about this picture. It made me laugh because there's so many similarities. So it's bunching up in the sleeves. It's got that divot in the shoulders, it just has that I don't know how else to describe it. How's that look, okay? Is this a look that she's just going for on purpose? I'm gonna say no, because Kim Kardashian is such a fashion icon, but this is not her comfort zone. I know she mentioned in an interview that she's turning 40 soon and she just kind of wants to change the way that she's been dressing. So I think she's branching into more areas of fashion that aren't so much like sexy driven, but a little bit more covered up and almost professional. I know that she's studying law, so I'm sure she's worn like a fitted suit before. I just think she was trying something new and wanted to go for that oversized look, but I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way so nobody makes fun of you. So suits are definitely in fashion right now. If something is gonna be very broad shoulders, the seam is gonna hit at this. <laughs> I'm not wearing the correct shoulder because I stole this from my husband, but the shoulder seam should be hitting about right at where your shoulder starts to curve. The only times where I saw that it wasn't doing that is if the coat was intentionally oversized and long. I never saw anything where it was hitting at that regular hip length and also fell off the shoulder in that way. It was usually something where the design lines were just pointing that direction instead of looking like an accident. So Balenciaga did that, same with Prada and a couple others. Marc Jacobs kinda did it with the cape. But for pretty much everyone else, I saw that they were going with that traditional shoulder silhouette. Okay, so. If you are going to wear a suit and you don't want to look like Kim Kardashian, man, I feel like I'm being so mean to her. Honestly, she looks amazing 90% of the time. And this one time I'm like, okay, I have to say something. I'm not Kim stylist and I'm not Kim, but I'm pretty sure she was going for something like this. This is an oversized suit look, but if you look closely, her jacket is not the issue. Everything is very streamlined and very well fitted in the jacket, but she's created this really drapey long line look to it by having the sleeves continue past the wrist, past her hand. So that kind of makes the whole thing look very floppy, even though her jacket still fits correctly and her pants are very flowy. But even then you see that the pants fit her correctly because they hit at the right spot at her ankle. This isn't a, I accidentally bought three sizes too big look. This is a drapey, flowy, feminine look. Another way you could kind of get this like oversized top look without having to wear a really flowy bottom if you feel like that's not really flattering for your figure. You could wear something that's a little bit more bulky on top. I see that she has these shoulder pads, but she's made it not look like she's wearing her dad's suit. It looks like she folded up the sleeve on the jacket and then popped the sleeve out for her shirt. So it reaches all the way to her wrist, but she doesn't have any competition going with the suit jacket. And then she pairs it with a skinny jean, so it's got a very feminine silhouette. You can tell that her purse is very minimal, it's very feminine. So the whole outfit kind of shrinks and it doesn't seem like she's just taking up way too much space. So I've seen a couple jackets where it is very oversized and it's going for that almost too big look, but it's not actually too big. And here's how you can tell. If the shoulder is hitting at the right place, there's no exaggerated bumps or divots in any of her shoulder or along the sleeves, and it's hitting at the right spot at your wrist. 
If it's not hitting any of those criteria, you might be working with a jacket that's just too big for you. I love this outfit. It is an interesting case because this is almost too big and you can tell because there's a lot of gathering at the sleeves and almost a little divot on the shoulder. However, because her jacket is a totally different color than the pants and she has that turtleneck and the really dainty accessories to go with it, it seems really feminine. It also seems like she did it on purpose because everything is so cutting edge and different that this also seems extremely intentional. A lot of other women celebrities are wearing suits recently. I feel like that's just been a trend that has been snowballing. Rihanna has done it, which is hilarious to me because Kanye is also in this picture. So like he knows what a good suit looks like. Gwen Stefani wears a really great suit. Beyonce wore an amazing suit. Obviously, dang it, why can I not think of her name? Tilda Swinson, is that how you say her name? Actually, you've never heard of her, sorry. She plays, um, she's in uh, Doctor Strange. She's the... The lady. Oh, the bald lady. Yeah. Oh. Tilda. The ancient one. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, I feel bad. Our main lady, Tilda. <laughs> Tilda has been doing this for years. She always kind of has an androgynous look to her, but I really like what she does with the suit where she has a really wide leg pant that's cropped and she wears it with heels and it seems very feminine, not at all masculine. And of course the queen of suits, Zendaya. She always looks amazing, <laughs> honestly. Just slaying, looking great all the time. If you wanna wear men's clothing, but you don't wanna wear suits, which I totally understand, cause I don't really have a lot going on in my life where I would actually wear a suit and look normal. You can still wear men's clothes and you can still steal your boyfriend's clothes because it's way more fun if you stole it. <laughs> It is more fun if you steal it, that's just true. So this outfit, I feel like it's a perfect showcase of how to turn men's clothing into an extremely feminine kind of outfit. A couple key things. She's wearing these oversized guys clothes. I'm even pretty sure these are men's pants. But she has the shirt very cuffed on the sleeves, kind of cinches that silhouette, makes it a little bit more angled instead of floppy. She also rolls up the cuffs on the pants. And then if you notice, all of her accessories are extremely dainty. She has a really small, tiny little necklace, this really small purse with a thin strap, and then even her sandals, everything is really thin and delicate. And that makes it so if you look at this outfit, nothing about it looks like it's men's clothing. It looks like a woman's outfit. Okay, this is kind of a suit look, but it's not quite. So she's wearing a men's white shirt, which let's all agree that men's white shirts are better. I don't know why women's white shirts are made out of actual tissue paper. She's wearing these slouchy pants, which kind of goes with the slouchy look, and of course, a great belt. I love a good belt. And she's wearing a jacket, which almost makes me think this is a suit look, but it's not, because she doesn't actually put her arms through the holes, which is definitely like a girl style move. I don't really see men ever doing that, so it kind of makes this whole thing a little bit more feminine, and it's not a suit look. It's very relaxed and definitely not like office-y. And again, she's wearing these really like strappy, feminine girly sandals, which just makes the whole thing really cute. So I found this from Paxson, and I really think this outfit is adorable. I think that a girl could wear this just as easily and it would look super cute. This is one of those things that nowadays for clothing, there's less variation between men's and women's clothing, especially for like teens, which just is fun. I feel like girls get the best end of that stick because we can fit into guys' clothing and girls' clothing, so. This is that typical men's white shirt. Very classic, you know, it's almost cliche, but she has a lot of accessories going along with it where it doesn't look too dressed down. It's still very trendy. She's got a beret and lots of chains around her neck and on the purse. And then these shoes are really funky. And she's wearing it with really tight pants to kind of offset that almost tentish look to it. Just adds an extra layer of femininity. So we have to end with my girl Zendaya cause she always looks amazing in men's clothing. Pretty sure she's like the queen of like transforming a guy's outfit into the most amazing feminine looking thing ever. This picture makes me laugh because she's basically wearing the exact same thing as Tom Holland and I think she looks better in it. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is ladies, go in the men's section cause it's fun. You get to try new things, you get to look amazing. And some of that stuff is way less expensive than you're paying in the girl section. So honestly, it's a win all around. Oh yeah, okay, wait, I have to show you guys. This is a cool tip. Stool, because I'm short. These are high-waisted pants, so I wanted to accentuate my waist. However, men's shirts are very long, and I didn't want it to be long. So, ready, ready? Oh, 
little sneaky hack for you, free from me to you. Really easy, you just put a belt around your waist and then pull it until you have enough to fold over around the belt. And then it's just a whole different new look. Would you look at that? I've transformed. You know what, I know it's not perfect. A little baggy, a little bulky, but it's a look and it's fun and it's different. It's DIY. Just fashion hacks, you know. I might turn into five minute crafts. Just kidding, I would never do that to you. Well, that was the whole video. So if that was helpful for you in any way, please throw me a like and consider subscribing because I put out fashion related content every single week. I'll see you next time. Also, Kim, I'm sorry, cause you look amazing like literally 99% of the time. You're not watching this video, but you look great. <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a good day. <laughs> Why am I so weird? It's 1 a.m.